So today we're going to be modifying a 2012 Mercedes-Benz E550 Cabriolet. It has a stock M278 engine. It's a V8 twin turbo engine. It puts out stock 403 horsepower with 443 foot-pounds of torque. Let's see what we can do with this one with the Presser Tech 10. We're going to take this on a test drive before we do any kind of modification for it to see how it runs. This car has 44,000 miles on it. It's been very well taken care of in its short life. Let's see what this car can do now versus after we do a modification. I think we probably should put the top up for this one. So these M278 engines, they're pretty fast. Uh, from factory but they has so much more has so much more power just waiting to be unleashed they detend all all Mercedes engines could really use a presser tech too we're just going to tighten them up bring everything in closer so that we can get maximum efficiency out of the engine and we're not going to hurt anything with the engine. This is not going to do any damage to the car at all. We're making the engine better. There's nothing we're doing that's bad for this car. And surprisingly enough, because we're making the engine just more efficient, you're also going to get better fuel economy. So, he averages 18.4 miles per gallon. Now, I'm pretty confident we can see 21 miles per gallon as an average. 20 miles per gallon is highway driving average. So there's about a half a second delay in, in the time I pushed the solder in the time it took off. It is strong when it comes off. It is. But it's going to be so much stronger when we're done with this modification. So, we have mapped out this 2012 E550 with the M278 engine and I am really excited to give this a run. We were able to make extreme changes while keeping the engine and all components safe. Let's go for a test drive. First run with my stepson. Right off the bat, you can tell this pedal's hungry. He's wanting some gas. Here we go. 45, drop to the floor. Oh my God, this thing is hungry. Wow, that's so fast. It takes time building these files. It's a custom file for every customer. So we changed the spark advanced. We eliminated the speed limiter. Increase the rev limiter. It's alive now. The car is alive now. 